Welcome back to Let's Play Roshard. I'm Burning Dog Face, and, uh... Ceiling's glimmering. Okay, then. Uh, we're here to learn about G-swinging, apparently. Oh. Why did that kill me? Surely that should have just... G-swing target. A secured box, G-swinging possible. I only noticed at the last second it said something other than, you know, heavy box. I don't think I've ever encountered an elevator with more than one stop in this game. Yeah, that should not have killed me. That's a, a red force field. That should have stopped me, but that shouldn't have killed me. See? Weird. Okay. Oh, wait. I don't have to worry about that at all, do I? Found it. There, G swing installed. Now, let's see how this thing works. Okay, no tutorial. Let's just uh, grab the containers above and load G to G swing. Oh. Spider-Man. Y'all take care now. <laughs> Boom, baby. Magnum Sky Police Officer. Hmm. Who ever heard of an elevator specifically designed to trap whoever uses it? I had a feeling. Oh, uh. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hmm. I just can't seem to get enough, uh, momentum. You're in! Hmm. Give it to me. Okay, it's not going to work. I didn't think it would, amazingly. Oh dear. <laughs> there is a limit. Oh, that was even worse. Yes! Okay, that felt good. Just making sure. There was nowhere else that I could go. Oh, uh, I had a thing written down here. Shout out to Jereen Amras, who uh, commented fairly early on that Wild Boys is just about the most stock standard uh, name a space biker gang could have chosen. And I cannot disagree with that. 
It's not very creative at all. It really reflects on how dumb the individual members seem to be. Yeah, it's like, you meet the guys, and it's like, oh, yeah, okay, that plays out. Okay. It's as obvious as a cover band, uh, an ACDC cover band called Thunderstruck. <laughs> Sorry about that. Needed to sneeze. Uh, what was I saying? Yes, ACDC band called, uh, ACDC cover band called Thunderstruck. Hang on, that was open a sec. Oh, it is open. Okay, fine. Just, oh, there's no door there. That's what it was. Oh. Well, I feel... I solved that one by accident. I get the feeling I was meant to... Yeah, okay. No scanning there. Huh. I guess that one's just painted on. Wait. Okay. It's not something I have to be clever about. Hmm. Dang it. I'm sure they appreciate me doing this, by the way. Oh, the camera just doesn't move up from here, okay. Yeah, it's probably something like that I was supposed to do, not just stand on it like a big doof. Oh, alright. No. I'm just trying to get into every corner I can. Oh, hell! Ah! God damn it. it! It actually takes a while to aim properly in this. Maybe I'm just so used to being in a third-person environment. For some reason, every time they say Wild Boys, I think about the Beagle Boys from uh, DuckTales. I don't even know if they're in the new one. I've uh, been meaning to check out the uh, new DuckTales forever now. Oh, right. Wait, I can just... Okay. Little percussive maintenance never hurt anybody. Except a machine. Oh, fuck. Right, that went much better. But let's uh, take this one out with weaponry anyway. I should have scanned one of those, see if they still say property of wild boys. Oh, interesting. What is this? Floating platform unable to lock G-beam. Weird. That was a dumb one. I could see how low the ceiling was. What I find very funny about that, like the most funny, is that... I couldn't scan the platforms I could move around back in Zeronimo. No oh! God damn you! What the hell is going on up there? Is this actually one big continuous level? It's like that fan area just below here. Aha! Walking was the trick, not jumping. Is that a door right there in the background? Floating fan now. Hmm. 
ventilation jet. What does that say? Note, beware of airflow and low gravity. Fear me! Oh. Right, because the falling is slower, the angle is different. Oh. ASAB, buddy. Oh, now I feel bad. Why did they put in the mama line? Oh, okay. Guess we're not going on a journey together. Yeah, that guy's definitely dead. That other guy? Arguably- Oh, fuck! I didn't even notice the laser there until I almost threw myself into it. Oh, I see. Hmm, that is a tricky one. I think that did what it was meant to do. She even unlocked 50% gold collectibles found. Oh, hang on, I've got this. I'm not going to enjoy this. This is going to be quite stressful. Uh, maybe we should... Okay, straight down, so I only have to worry about it for a moment. Okay, I can do this. Duh. That makes me uneasy literally every time I do it. Oh, hello there, what's this? Press X to restart the conveyor. Instead of that, I'll just get this. Explosium capacity increased. Nice. You know, it would be funny in this case if uh, John was affecting gravity for the entire station. Ah! Oh, I see it. It goes immediately into that. Fine! Let's just go down, then. Well, this seems really, really straightforward. Check it out, I'm flying, I'm flying. Whoa. I'm not even doing anything. I'm not touching the left stick right now. It's the movement of these, uh, boxes. How do I get up there? Eh. Eh. Ah! Shit! Hmm. 
Oh, and uh, just so we're clear, yes, uh, 50% of all gold collectibles. What's this? Death from above. Kill an enemy by falling on him. I didn't know that was even an option. I'll have to try to do that. Nothing? Okay. Just studying cubes anyway. I got this. Oh, it's not going to stop. Okay. I wonder if I can just jump on this guy. Fucking Mario style. Yay! Achieve and unlock death from above. That was very simple. Just Goomba stomped that guy. And yes. Kill an enemy by falling on him. Give it to me straight, guys. In what universe does anyone not notice that, uh... Oh, I see, I have to use this as my own platform. In what universe does security not notice that one of their, uh, drones has exploded? Even if it was totally automated. What do you think the odds of that happening are? Nice. I don't think he enjoyed that very much. What? Oh. It didn't open. Okay. I think I'm on the level now with that, uh... One trophy I didn't get earlier. Wait for traffic. Oops. I'm sure that won't cause trouble. Yeah, I guess the trick here was just remembering it. I'm not gonna lie, finding as many of these things as I have makes me feel quite clever. If I do say so myself. Whoa! Oh no! Just crouch through this, because we're in a vent. That was dumb. I didn't jump all the way to the top. Oh. Every time I see one of these, I just assume I'm going to fall into the pit and die. As if the bars weren't there. Just, oh, no. It's a very visceral reaction. Not particularly guided by logic. Uh oh. Okay. Oh, wait. I think it's actually... No. I was going to say, I think it's actually easier if I don't use gravity, but no, that's not the case. I was imagining a bunch of pencil pushers getting increasingly annoyed as all the gravity in the station flicks on and off. Wait, what's that? Oh, I can't go in there. That area is just painted on. Oh, shit. Hmm. 
Weird. I thought this was a ceiling, but okay. Apparently it's a loading screen. My bad. John, there seems to be a lot of security ahead of you. Be careful and watch out for the cameras. All right. Thanks for the heads up. You know, some, for some reason it really surprises me that John Rochard doesn't sound anything like Duke Nukem. I can, I can tell it's the same voice actor, but the guy has got more range than I gave him credit for. Oh, and here's the one the other elevator would arrive at. I do like that, uh, what do they call that? Consistency? Continuity? I don't know what that is. Wait, is this nothing to do with this platform? It's just not, no, it's not really there. Huh. I'm glad I did that. I thought I was being kind of silly this time. And there's the timer. So, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you next time on Let's Play Rochard, when we continue exploring this enormous station, looking for Maximilian's office so we can get a little payback. Later.